Oh hey, welcome to this video. I've got one question for you. Is your life shit? If so, you come to the right place. We're gonna be playing Bit Life. If you're not satisfied with your current life, why not throw it away and live through this instead? It's Bit Life. So essentially, this app is cool and fun and also my new hobby. Essentially, you start a life and then like it kind of randomizes the events of which that unfold in your life and like sometimes funny things happen sometimes you just die all the lives you live in bit life you just you die kind of like in real life which is why i like this game the realism in this game is just fantastic <laughs> and great we should probably put the headphones on and not have them near the mic so right now i've just been born my name is arlene beaver what an unfortunate surname i am son or daughter to gay beaver and grace beaver let me just the phone up here so you can actually like see what i'm doing oh yeah i was i was born a female in chicago in the u.s usa i was conceived in the back row of a movie theater oh that's, that's fantastic i'm really glad as a baby i got the information yo my mother is so young and my dad is a predator. Hmm. <laughs> he must have, like, literally waited for Grace to be of legal age. What a fantastic life I'm gonna live. Alright, I guess you can, like, go through all the activities and stuff. We can visit a doctor uh, if we really want to. I th I'm pretty sure I'm a healthy, fine baby. We can even look at, uh, like, our assets, I think. Yeah, we got a car. We have no car. Real estate. Do we not have some poor boy in a... Poor family. But don't worry, my happiness is at 70%, so it's all it's all good. And looks is 33%. Wow, okay. Well, I'm a baby, okay? You know, I don't look like my baby form at age zero. If I did, I would look weird. It will improve as, as age goes by. Look at that, 36% already, 3% within one year. It's like, what, like 22 more years? And I'm 100% good looking. That's the dream. All right, age one, mother's already started her degree now. You know what? That's really good. That's really admiring that, you know, even though brand new mother, she still has time to just F off and leave me by myself at age one with my old father, Gabe. She, my father, had a baby girl named, excuse me, I was just born. How have you, no, I'm sorry. How have you had the time to go to university, get a biology degree, and also have two children in the space of two years? She was conceived at a resort in Cancun. I don't even want to know. And by the way, a resort in Cancun? You're going on holiday? You have a zero-year-old infant child. And you're going on holidays? You're still on degrees? You're having more babies? I don't know how you have the time to do all this. And already, by the way, yes, I am Jazz, my sister. Yes, well done. Frickin' baby girl name Shayeen. I'm Jazz with Shayeen. Ch Shayeen? At least I have a normal name. Arlene. All right, age up. I want, <laughs> I want to know more. Age two, nothing. Literally, nothing happens in my life. Apparently, age two is the most boring year of my life. Age three, then. Spain's military presence in Egypt has ignited a long subdued internal sentiments. Cool. Fantastic news. Great. Age three sucks too. What's my relationship so far? You got Chayin. Not, not quite there. My little baby sister at age two. You know, Grace Beaver and Gabe Beaver. I had a conversation with them at one point. You know what? Can we talk to our sister here? Can we like denounce her? No, okay. Well, you know what? Maybe for the best. Childhood. Integrity. You broke your parents' chainsaw while you were playing. What will you do? Oh, uh, excuse me. There's a chainsaw just laying about. <laughs> doesn't seem safe. What will you do? Report my parents? To the police for leaving a chainsaw out for a four-year-old to play with? It's like they want to get rid of me. Admit that I broke it. I'm going to say I'm going to admit it because I want them to be in trouble. It's their fault for leaving the chainsaw out. If you, if your four-year-old toddler finds a chainsaw and breaks it, it is entirely the parent's fault at this point. Admit it. Nothing happens. All right. Are they in jail yet? First off, why do they have a chainsaw? Is that a USA thing? Seconds. I'm not surprised they have a chainsaw laying about. You know, they don't really have the time to do much, so too busy going on holiday and doing degrees and having other babies. Age five. My mother graduated from university with an undergraduate degree in biology. Cool. She started a new position as a mort mortician? Mortician. A mort as mortician for Cuban at Son's funeral home. Either way, congratulations. Well done. Good. 
So someone that works at the morgue is, is Mortison? Mortician. You know what? You learn something every single day. By the way, my looks went down. I swear to God, I was higher than 34%. What's going on? Come on, looks. <laughs> Please. Can I check my sister's looks? Assault your sister? Go for it. <laughs> you trampled her patella. Cool. She assaulted you? She passed your finger. She punctured your neck? Excuse me, she's one year younger than me of the age of four. She punctured my neck. With what? I need to seek medical attention. Sure, no. Yes, please. My neck is punctured. Oh, I'm good health. Never mind. All right. Well, you clearly, you know, just a classic five-year-old with a punctured neck. It's fine. I'm sure everything's fine. All right, Arlene. Oh, you got your haircut. Good for you. Oh, wow. Uh, air raid sirens echo around Valencia. A business comes to a standstill as tensions between Spain and Egypt escalate into an all-out war. I started elementary school. Oh, look at that. Looks are going up. Happiness is pretty far down. As you can imagine with a punctured neck, you know. Also, I guess a war is happening in the background. But hey, I started elementary school. Age seven. Oh, Shayeen's also in elementary school. I guess age seven was all about her. Okay. Why do we even have a life? It's all about her. Age eight. A new rebel government uprising in Spain promptly brings an end to the five-year war with Egypt. Remarkably, only 54 died in the conflict. And further, blah, 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 blah. Shayeen Beaver. All right, you know what? I'm going to insult her. Yes, insult your little sister. There we go. You called your little sister Shayeen a tart. We were like seven years old. We shouldn't be doing that. No retaliation. Insult successful. Boy, sis, your little sister Shayeen confesses to you that an older girl makes fun of her skin at school every day. Um, is this like a race issue? She asked you for help. What will you do? I'm gonna beat the crap out of this bully. I'm gonna assault the bully. <laughs> Ouch, you assaulted the bully. You walloped her anus. Good. I mean, I didn't know we were going for that. You solved your little sister Shane's bully problem. Her appreciation is a green bar. Fantastic. Only I'm allowed to squabble with my sister, all right? Smarts, 95%. Yo, we are so smart. Our looks keeps going down, though. How do we improve on looks, you know? Like, age 10, the school dance. It's time to go to your first school dance. You are attracted to a boy named Davis Cruz. That's David Cruz. You know what? If I can't even get his name right, I shouldn't be allowed to go to the dance with him. Thing is, okay, so this is this is a dilemma here. I remember my first school dance as well. I was successful. I was able to get a dance with a girl because I had a cast on my on my was my left my left wrist here, and she also had a cast on her left wrist, and we were meant to be. It was great. She ended up dancing with someone else midway through, and I watched her dance with the other guy. It was great. Yeah, it was really really good. Ask David to go with me. Yeah, you know what? Let's go for it. Oh no. <laughs> this is what I was afraid of. Oh my heart. Oh, I'm reliving every single awkward moment all over again. David Cruz rejected you. David Cruz. This will be the last thing you do. You went to school and danced by yourself. Oh, my happiness is so much lower now. What a terrible year. Yo, mother though, getting promoted like crazy. What's freaking Gabe doing right now? Gabe's doing jack crap. Keep an aging up. Tsunami devastates in India, blah, blah, blah. Everyone's dying. More importantly though, a quarrel. You and Shane are quarreling about whether or not Die Hard is a Christmas movie. What will you do? Die Hard is definitely not a Christmas movie. Who, in like, definitely assault her. <laughs> you assaulted your little sister Shane. You bruised her anus. She assaulted you. She crushed your tooth. She whacked your thigh. Oh, my looks went- Oh, my health is gone to- To zero. To zero. Am I dead? Does that mean I'm dead? Could you take me to the doctors, please? Uh... You are currently in good health? Uh, okay. No, yeah. My bad. Uh, it, we're, we're currently in good health, apparently. Despite, you know, what it says right here. Oh, right, we're gonna age up here and hopefully we- You've been diagnosed with depression. Well, fantastic news. Diagnosed with depression. Apparently that makes you ugly as well. I guess, you know, that makes sense, yeah. As we all know. Epilepsy? You can't just give me epilepsy. Why are we still like dying? And how come I can't heal myself? This is going really, I should not have assaulted. This is all because, by the way, this is all because <laughs> I don't think Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Because of this, I now have depression and epilepsy. 
Well, you know what? I would do it again. Treat my depression. How do you treat depression? Would you give me pills? Could you just freaking fix my depression, please? You continue to suffer from depression. You know what? Just go on my life. Oh, I died. <laughs> you died at age 16. You died from complications associated with epilepsy. What do you mean? What? Oh, rest in peace. Tragically, Arlene Beaver lost her short battle with epilepsy at the formative age of 16, surrounded by family. Her funeral was attended by her little sister Shayeen and her mother and father. Sadly, she is known for attacking her little sister. I defended her and she actually murdered me. My little sister murdered me. Shayeen killed me. She gave me depression and epilepsy. I'm incredibly frustrated and mad. What a horrible life. Also, f David Cruz. I mean, yeah, we got, we got time for like one more life. One more little quick life here. There we go. We're David Scott right now. Please go accept. David Scott, born in Glasgow in the UK. That was supposed to be like a Scottish accent. Graham and Audrey Scott. I have an older sister. Again, age one. We have a family dog named Lady. Like Lady in the Tramp. What a beautiful dream home. You know, apart from being in Scotland, of course. But otherwise, it's a dream home. Our looks are pretty terrible, uh, as, uh, as, I guess, is always true. Let's just age up here. Do like a speedrun life, okay? Speedrun life. My mother and father had a baby boy named Ben. My new brother. He was, he was conceived in the park on a picnic blanket. Well, good for him. Our looks went down substantially as we aged. This does not look good. So now we have like two siblings here. A major typhoon terrorizes the civilians of the Philippines, blah, blah, blah. Father has been promoted. Age four, boring. Age five, my big sister Kara started elementary school. And my father, holy crap, has been promoted to no end. So we're gonna have a lot of money soon, hopefully. Lady, just ate your candy bar. What will you do? I will train her not to do that. It's very responsible. David Scott is a very smart boy, you know? He's, he's age six right now, but he knows to train a dog. You don't yell at a dog. You don't hit the dog. You gotta work with the dog. You work with your have an S. Why is it called have an S? What's a have, a have an S? Is that like, <laughs> am I missing something here? My have an S lady ate my, is that like a breed of dog? Am I, gonna, am I saying it right? My looks are just plummeting down. Fantastic news. Bully, every day a bully calls you a racial slur. What will you do? Why is there so much race involved in this? It's too real. Assault him, do nothing about it, report him to the teacher. You know, David Scott, he's not the best looking kids and also like, he's a smart kid. I think a smart kid would honestly, you know, be smart about it and assault him back. You assault the bully, you trampled his knee. Yes. <laughs> That'll teach you to bully. Oh, okay, cool, yeah. Well, I'm glad I trained the dog because She's dead now. From complications due to old age after living a great doggone life. You know what? I can be happy with that one. 12 is a great long time to live. Happiness, of course, is pretty goddamn low. Do not get depression, please. And over here, we can actually, like, we could drop out of primary school. <laughs> no, I'm gonna study harder. Although, that might make us, like, miserable, so we might not wanna do that, right? This app is great. I can just relive my life. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna, like, have a conversation with my brother here. Oh, apparently you and your brother, Ben, discussed whether or not a hot dog qualifies as a sandwich. And we did not come to an agreement. Unfortunately, it looks like we don't like each other. As we all know, a hot dog does qualify for a sandwich. If anything, if there is like something of substantial quality of food between two buns or two kind of like slices of any kind that is bread. Sometimes it doesn't even have to be bread, okay? It is a sandwich. A hot dog is a sub-breed of sandwich. Agree to disagree. Maybe later on in life, he'll understand that I'm right and he's always wrong. I just want to live a bit longer than, you know, than Arlene. Oh, apparently we're not very happy. Uh, probably because, like, nothing's happening and we're still ugly. Yo, a new dog called Ali, a pet poodle. Why is she nine? Why can't you get a new one? Yes, I want Ali. My precious. Your parents brought home a dog named Ali for you and your siblings. And now we're, we're somewhat happy. Fantastic news. Religious feuds festered between New Zealand and blah, blah, blah. Sexuality. You are feeling homosexual tendencies. What are you? Yes, go for it. <laughs> 
Age 14, I guess. Let's go for it. If he's feeling it, you know, why not? While walking a poodle, Ali, you see her eat some excrements. What will you do? My dog used to always eat shit. So like, we used to live in a farm and we had like geese everywhere and chickens and they would just poop everywhere. And that dog would eat all that poop. Like, she would not stop eating that poop. That's a Labrador for you though. They eat everything. She also ate like part of the wall. She like chew on the wall. So like, honestly, the poop wasn't like the worst thing she ate. I can imagine chick chicken poop and goose poop isn't that bad for you. I'm not gonna reward her, but I will train her not to. I like training. So we're now in secondary school and already we know we're homosexual. The weird symptoms that my poodle, Ali, exhibited have stopped. Cool! No longer does she eat shit. Fantastic news. Hey, job. Hives. You'll be diagnosed with hives. Oh, that's cool. Great. Our looks are not looking great. <laughs> Age 16. Oh no, you're just a freaking ugly gay kid. I'm sorry, David Scott. But we always have our smarts, okay? Driving license. Yes, take the test. We're very smart. Oh no, <laughs> don't ask me. This is like American shit. You can't, you can't do this to me. And this is, this is a root marker, right? This is definitely a root marker. You passed the driving test. Well, like, good for me. What do you mean? There's a warning sign next to my looks. Like... <laughs> We got hives, right? Can we like get cured of the hives? Treat the hives. You continue to suffer from hives. Like why though? Could you, could you cure me please? I guess not. I guess, you know, doctors suck these days. You graduated from secondary school. You know what I'm gonna do? Hold on. You suffer from lice? Stop. Oh no. Oh, this is too real. Um, smart boy. Smart boy wants to go into like computer science. Apply. Oh, okay. Student loan? Yeah, student loan. Am I smart yet? You are now enrolled in university. Yo, this life is so much better than my own. Crime. You can commit a cr Okay, we've yet to explore the entirety of this game and we will do so in the next video if you so wish to see more. We are 18 years old, David Scott, the whole world is our oyster, okay? We have so much to explore. And if you want to see more, then please let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to try out more of this. I want to see how David Scott's life, you know, goes on. I definitely want to spice up as well. There's some really cool things you can do to spice up. Horse races, you can just immigrate, lorry. There is so much stuff you can do here. I can like, you know what? I like both now. See? I'm pretty sure it's not how it actually works, you know, in real life. I don't know. I don't think so. But there you have it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to show us some support by, I don't know, pressing the like button. Or maybe you want to press the dislike button. Or do both now. You can choose, apparently, according to this game. And I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you another time. Bye-bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.